what you're seeing here is a human anatomy exhibition that the bodies have been preserved. They're actual human specimens, and they've been preserved through a process called polymer impregnation. That process makes the bodies stay exactly as they are in the poses that they are right now. It is a non-toxic process, and basically it will last forever. We try to pose our specimen so they can show you something educationally about your body. How does a muscle work? How do things interact? And so this is a way, this is totally non-toxic, that it has no odor to it at all. It will last forever. So one specimen will teach generations upon generations about their body. And you can get right up close. Not everything is behind glass, only the smaller pieces. We try to give a beautiful museum-like environment, but we solely, we want to um, encourage school children to come through and other parents and have dialogue. When we first started with this whole process about understanding the human body, it was centuries ago. And it was mostly artists that brought that to our attention. Uh, we look at the works of Aristotle and Galleon, and then we look at Leonardo da Vinci, and how did he study these muscle structures. Dissection was something that was not um, allowed during the time. It was actually forbidden. So much of our knowledge actually came from these great artists on how we got our body structure. And all those great artists took the knowledge and they put it into beautiful forms that we could could see. Everybody is different colors on the outside of their body, but once you go down, one of the things I like to say is we're all pink on the inside. Doesn't matter if we're brown, black, white on the outside, we're all pink on the inside. And when you see that everybody is the same, even almost our entire um, uh, digestive system, uh, you know, a man that's six foot tall and myself, a foot shorter than that, um, almost have the exact same digestive system in far as how much fits into that little part of your body as well. So it always fascinates me to find out, I mean, when you go and you look at the stomach and you realize that it's not much bigger than your fist and I want to know where does the turkey dinner go all the time. <laughs> We're depending on our partners, and our partners are with the Anatomical Science um, and Technology Foundation, and they are a group of doctors and universities out of Hong Kong. They, these specimens are on loan to us and only on loan, and our mission statement is about education, education and a little bit more education while you're entertained, hopefully. We actually divide it up into the systems of the body. So we try to take you from the skin, which is the largest system of the body, and we try to bring you all the way down into the smallest little system. And you can divide that up and then study that for each system of the body. The human body by itself is such a magnificently beautiful creature. And when you see it from underneath the skin, you go down layers and layers, you can see how every single part of it is so beautiful. I hope they leave with A, an, a greater appreciation for what they've been given because it is a beautiful piece. What other computer could you take and take half of it away and it would still function for you? With, that is the beauty of the human body. And I hope that you take away a better understanding of what you can do to make your life better and a greater appreciation of what this gorgeous, incredible machine that you've been given. So we're like a little mini museum that tries to travel the globe. But you know, I'm, I really get the, a great privilege of going around the world and educating people all about themselves and, and getting to educate you know, people that would never ever have an opportunity to see this in, in some of the places that we get to go. So I'm very appreciative of it and very respectful and reverent that I get this opportunity to work with such great guys.